Hey everyone, it's Dina from imacookiebaker.com. Uh, today I have another Silhouette Studio tutorial for you and this one is not a new functionality or new feature in the software but I have a little trick that I'd like to show you that's going to make vertical text a little bit easier. Alright, so let's get started. On the left hand side of your screen you will click on the text tool bring your cursor over into your workspace and simply click to type. And today I'm going to use my niece's name just as an example. And what you can see here is a straight up horizontal text just as you would normally read it left to right. Um, one of the ways to make a word or a piece of text vertical is to use the text style options and you have two places that you can go for that in the V4 software. When you have your item selected, like you see on the screen here, you can use the quick access toolbar icon of the vertical A or in the floating panel the same icon. So either one will get you the same result. And when you click on that icon, you can see that it then flips your text into a vertical alignment. Um, to me, this is not truly vertical text. All you're doing is simply rotating the text from horizontal to vertical. Um, you could easily do that using this green handle, right? So you're really just rotating it. It's whatever, okay? It's not vertical in my eyes. What I'm going to do is just quickly undo that using the keystroke control Z and we're going to let that one sit there for a minute. The other way that you can do this is go back to your text tool to type a word, click in your workspace and you're going to type each letter and press enter whoops, after each letter and to me this is too time consuming, I'm touching too many things, I'm all about that quick and fast, get me in, get me out to that end result. Um, it's workable. It gets the end result, but like I said, there's too many steps. So let me show you my trick to doing this. I'm going to go back to the first word that I typed and I'm going to double click on the text. That's going to open up the text again so that I can make any edits or whatever I want to do. Maybe I made a spelling error. Sometimes that happens. Typos happen. Um, but you'll notice at the end of the word you have this solid green or turquoise looking bar and you can actually click on that and slide it to the left to get the same effect. Pretty cool, right? Then what you can do is use your line spacing in the text style to either increase or decrease depending on you know what you want your design to look like to help with that vertical text. So where is this going to be useful? Let's say that you are doing some word art. You want to put names of grandchildren in a shape for your mother or your father or whatever. Father's Day is coming up. Maybe you want to make a t-shirt or um, you want to paint a sign or something like that. This is going to help you get that text vertical up and down like you would read it left to right on a separate line versus text that is simply rotated from vertical to horizontal. Okay, Either one can work in your design. It's really what is the desired effect that you want in that design. So do you find this helpful? Drop a comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share. And I want to thank you guys for watching.